it's Sarika and I'm coming at you with another video. <clears throat> In this video we are solving question three from the seventh grade assignment three. Um, the, the, the title of the worksheet is similar figures worksheet. Remember assignment two is a, uh, has two pages. This is the page similar figures worksheet. And we are working on question three. This assignment is due on Friday at 4 p.m. If you have circumstances where you can't turn it in at that time, please email me. Okay, so let's get started. Each pair of rectangles below are similar. Calculate the values of dimension x. Well, a similar rectangle uh, means that it, it's not congruent. It does not have the same side lengths but it has proportional side lengths. And by me, what I mean proportional is that uh, the relationship between the side lengths stays the same for every side length. So the relationship between two and then three is proportional. Therefore, we can find out what X is over here based on what we're given this side. So to set up our pro proportions, we need to find the corresponding sides. So the corresponding sides for the two triangles. This is the length, this is the width, this is the length, this is the width. So I'm going to set up my proportion where I have, um, so then it goes width over length equals width over length. And now I can plug in my value since I know what my width and my length are and my width and my length are. For the smaller rectangle, my width is 2, so I'm putting it down here, and my length is 4. So now I'm going to fill in the other side of the proportion. My width is 3 and my length is X. Um, and in this case, it's really easy just to cross multiply and divide. We can butterfly it. 2 times X is 2X. 3 times 4 is 12. And then divide by 2, divide by 2, and X equals 6. So we would get X equal to 6. Um, I want to do the second problem just so you guys can see how I set up the proportion again. Um, okay, so I'm going to flip this side over and I'm going to we're going to do the second part, but I wrote in Sharpie, so good thing I have another piece of paper. Okay, so this is the second part. Uh, we're given that these rect rectangles are congruent. And it's 8, 2, 16, X. Solve for X. Well, again, I'm going to label my sides because this is helpful. My length is 8. My width is 2. My length is 16. My width is 2. I was told that these rectangles are similar so I know that the sides are proportional. Whenever I am told a rectangle or any figure is similar, that means the lengths, I mean like the sides, the lengths, the widths are proportional. So I can set up a proportion to find out what X is. So I'm gonna do length over width of the smaller rectangle equals length over width of the larger rectangle. And now I can plug in my values. Well, eight is the length of the smaller rectangle, two is the width of the smaller rectangle, 16 is the length of the larger rectangle. X is the width of the smaller rectangle. And in this case, I don't think I need to cross multiply because I can tell. What do I multiply 8 by to get to 16? Sorry, that's my dog. We're just going to continue. Um, 18 times what is 16? Well, 18 times 2. So if I'm multiplying the numerator by 2, I'm going to multiply the denominator by 2. 18 times 2 is 16. 2 times 2 is 4. So then I get x equal to 4. So the width of my larger rectangle is 4. Okay, um, I'm going to sign off right now because she's barking up a storm. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I hope this was um, semi-helpful. Um, comment below with any questions or concerns. Okay, um, remember we have a Google Hangout tomorrow. See you later. Bye-bye.